lahat na siguro. So we are still in our series, as I have said, Growing Deep. The goal of the teaching series no, this past, past couple of months is for us to grow deeper in our faith. No, it's important that we understand what we believe in. It's important that we understand the Bible, that we learn the Bible. And it's important that we get to see the truth for ourselves. And kato no, I, I, I shared last Sunday, for those who are here, God will not be able to remind us of certain truths in the Bible when we need it if we don't read the Bible. So, if we do not know that God is our strength, because Philippians chapter 4.13 says that we can do all things through Christ who is our strength. So, if we don't know that verse, the Holy Spirit cannot remind us of that promise. No? If we do not know the verses in Psalm 91 or Psalm 23, then the Lord cannot remind us that He is our refuge and He is our strength. So it's very important that uh, we we always have with us our Bibles. If you have your Bibles on your phone, it's okay. Just make sure that every time the app is updated, it does not change the words. No, because some apps are like that. Uh, gonna change me, and that's why it's really safer to have our printed out Bibles compared to just uh, cell phone Bibles. Because change change so it's important that we get to read our Bibles okay so are are we are we ready to listen to God's word something something line of thought so help me here because what I will be sharing for uh, sharing about tonight is um, something very interesting and I hope that we will get to learn. So I would want to make it clear before I move forward that this church, um, we are not against any religion. I want us all to understand that. We are not uh, against any other church. We believe that as long as our doctrines are the same, most especially the doctrine of salvation, which is the most important doctrine, uh, we are not at a quarrel with any other churches. But uh, we, 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 we teach certain things, most especially the basics of Christian doctrine, so that when we go outside, we will not be easily deceived. Somebody told me that one time when, kinsa pa to siya, naa siya sa park, diha sa, sa park, kato na yung fountain, sa Gaston Park, somebody approached them, him or her, and he shares sa iyaha about God the Mother. So, and, and this person or persons were very confident and, 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 and they are well first, meaning kabalo sila sa unsa ang ilang ginasuti. As a matter of fact, they even quote verses about God the Mother because if there's God the Father, then there's God the Mother. No? So, it, it, it's, it's quite confusing. Sa ato, ah, feeling na ito, ah, wala mo yung God the Mother, but you know what? Dili na ka inun, because may, sometimes, even if kabalo na nga, dili man, di mao. The mere conversation like that can open up certain doubts in our minds. And if we don't know the truth about the Word of God, then we get confused. So, that's why we, we, we decided to have our series on Growing Deep, to address uh, certain um, Bible truths that I, I believe that we should know. No? So please don't get me wrong uh, tonight. Um, I, I said that don't put this on live because this may be misinterpreted. But uh, I want us all to have an open mind and have an open heart. Anyway, we're just looking into what the Bible says. Okay. So why do we come to church? Why do you come to church? Why do we attend a service? For Christian churches, we call our service service. Or other churches call it fellowship. There are other churches who call it mass or what's up? What's up the term? But the, the question is whatever, whatever the term is, have you 
you ask yourself, why do we attend Sundays? Why do we attend Wednesdays? And for the student, why do we attend Saturdays? Why is it that we have our communion only once a month and not every service? Do we have to have communion every service? What is the doctrine on communion? So those are a few of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. Why do we come to church? Why do we attend a service, a fellowship, a mass? Is it because we see attendance in a service, a mass, a fellowship as a sacrifice that should be accepted by God? Maybe some of us nakadumog na taani sa isa ka fellowship, mass, or service. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. I don't know if you're familiar with these words, but before, when, before, I, I, I hear these words na ginasulti every time before mag-start ang simba. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. And because of that, I believe, nahimo perspective sa mga tao that coming to church is a sacrifice. Mahogane, for a lot of people, coming to church, attending a, a attending a church or ang pagsimba is fulfilling an obligation. It's a sacrifice. Now let me ask you guys, do you see simba? Simba na lang, para neutral. Ang pagsimba ba, sakripisyo ba siya? What do we do when we have church? Is there a sacrifice that is going on? What's really happening, no? What is happening in every service? Now, I would want to make it clear, as early as now, ang pagsimba is not a ritual of sacrifice. Okay, before I came to know the Lord, the perspective, ang atong na nabawaan na perspective kung ano pagsimba, kay sacrifice siya. I, I don't know, so a lot of you are no longer familiar. Maybe do gay na din kaayos since. No, no. But coming to church is not because you should sacrifice. It's not even a burden. It's not even a unsa to ang inaingon? An obligation. We always say it. You come to church because you are not obligated to come to church. Hello, are you with me? You you come to church because it is your desire, our desire to come to church to worship God and to learn from His Word. Yeah. Your seatmate is not obligating you to come. Yes. The person who invited you is not obligating you to come. Yes, yes. And definitely, God is not putting an obligation on you na dapat magsimba ka. It is a personal choice, a choice a free choice coming from our heart, hearts that we want to come before God to worship Him, to sing songs to Him, and and to to pray or to learn from His Word. I remember when I was younger. Amo tama si mama nito na imo ni basa ni Liz Guru. Basa magsimba na gane. Tiba kung bata ka, di ka puy na kadugay, makai na mutindo. Di mo lingkod na ka. And then, so, then, they say, Gamay, raga na nga sakripisyo, di ba, kini mo mabuha? Tindo. And, 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 di ba, niling. Gamay, raga na nga sakripisyo, di ba, di ba, kini mo mabuha? See, because the perspective is that everything we do in church is a sacrifice. Now, let me tell you, do you feel that sakripisyo para sa inyo ang mong church? For me, it's the opposite. I, I, I'm actually excited to go to church. I am happy to go to church. When when I, I listen to God's word, God were the days that I, I keep on looking at my watch, except when my husband is preaching because he goes beyond the time. But, but diba, before, I remember, basta dugay, nakai dugay mga mga, shorter gani ang wali sa pikas, diba? Pero grabe, sige, tang ako, because attending church was merely for the sake of attending church. Kadungdung ko before, especially pag Christmas, 
Huwag niyo sa regalyo. Simbang kami. Basta lang kay makasimba. Bahala na dili maminaw. Tagkaan, magkikay na tao. Bahala na dili maminaw. Basta lang maka-attend ang simbang gabi. Why? Because your wish will come true. If you finish nine days. And for me, ha, I'm not saying that's wrong, but for me, that's how I saw it. Na, if I have a new dress, I will never use my dress outside. Una, yung dapat na siya gigamit pag simba. Bisan kung saan may kabusay mo, kinhanglan magsimba ka kay dapat, i-fulfill na to ang obligation sa pagsimba. Again, God is not obligating us to come to church. But God is worship, honor, and please. If by our own hearts, our own free will, we decide to come to church because we want to worship Him, we want to know Him better. We want to serve other people. So, at this point, I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys, you're not coming here just for the sake of the person who invited you. I'm really hoping that you guys, you come because you want to know the Lord and, and, and you enjoy the presence of God. No? So, again, when we do church, when we come to church, we don't do sacrifice. Some people believe that every time a Simba is celebrated, a Eucharist is celebrated, there is a sacrifice happening and the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus is being sacrificed again. That's why uh, some people see na every time a communion ga transform ang pan into the body of Christ and uh, transform ang wine mystically, magically, or whatever into the blood of Christ. And that because of that, gaka-sacrifice again ni Christ ang iyahang life. So I, I, I would want to put that into perspective. I, I know it's somehow confusing. I'm being careful kasi with the words that I, please don't, ayaw sa, ayaw sa, please don't put anything na wala pa naman naingon. Hebrews chapter 10. Wala nga nun ata din ha. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 10 to 12. Okay. There is no need for a sacrifice anymore. Once we come to church, we're not doing a sacrifice. Jesus does not die again every Holy Week. Hello? Do you remember Holy Week? Yes. I remember Holy Week like Diba, Holy Week, basta Thursday, Friday, dili pwede magsaba-saba, you can't have loud, loud TV, loud music, because Jesus is dead. Right? And and, and it's only upon, on, on Sunday na pwede na sad again. Uh, because that's a time that Jesus will be resurrected. No? But you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that Jesus died once, for all time, and He resurrected, and He is now living with the Father. Romans chapter 6, verse 10, the Bible says, The death He died, He died to sin once for all, but the life the life He lives, He lives to God. I, I will read in the New Living Translation, Romans chapter 6, verse 10, says here, When He died, He died once to break the power of sin. Jesus died how many times? Wow. Only once. He does not die every April. When I was little, Pimi yung gakatuno ang akong birthday na Holy Week. So there was a time that we don't get to celebrate my birthday because it's Holy Week. Because you can't you can be happy during Holy Week. Yes, you're supposed to be grieving because it's Holy Week, because Jesus is dead. But let me tell you, Jesus died 2,000 years ago, and after three days, He resurrected, and He has never been dead ever since. Yeah. Jesus died only once. And the Bible says, He died once for all, but the life He lives, He lives to God. Okay, Hebrews 10.10. We have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. 
So meaning, the sacrifice needed to make you and I holy so that we will be acceptable to God. The sacrifice is only once. So, maugane, every time we come to the service, there's no need for a sacrifice. Why? Because by the death of Jesus, He made us acceptable. You are acceptable to God. Amen. Isn't that a good news? Yes. That no matter what you have done, as long as you receive Jesus, you make Him your Lord and Savior, whatever it is, that is bothering you now, whatever mistake that you have done, the Bible says, God has made us acceptable through Christ. Kapoy siguro no, na kada adlaw, we would have to have a sacrifice so that God will accept us. A lot of people have the wrong notion that unless their lives are perfect, God will not accept them. Hello, nobody is perfect. Does that mean that God accepts nobody? The Bible says that Jesus made us acceptable and in the eyes of God, we are now acceptable. And then you look at yourself and you see, me acceptable? How about my sin, my sin, my sin, my sin, my sin? See, that's the mistake. Kaya atong ginabuhat, puro ato ang sin ang atong ginatanaw, but we fail to see what the Lord Jesus Christ has done. Yes, our sins are great, but the song says, His love is greater. Yes, our failures, we have a lot of them. But you know what? The Bible says that the love of God is greater. And walay sala that the, the blood of Jesus cannot cleanse. That's why the Bible says, once and for all, He made us acceptable. And in Hebrews 10, 12, when this priest, Jesus, had offered for all, for all time, one sacrifice for sins, He sat down at the right hand of God. So He is now sitting at the right hand of God. And the Bible says, and where the, these have been forgiven, there is no longer any sacrifice for sin. That's why every Holy Week, you don't have to make last last yourself and offer your blood. Why? Because the blood of Jesus has already been offered for our sins. Amen. What is the best thing to do on Holy Week? Spend time with God. Worship the Lord. Thank the Lord for what He has done. Amen. A lot of people, you know, of course, no millennials, we look at the, the time for Holy Week as a time for vacation. They know what's sad. But let us not forget that it's a time to remember what the Lord has done. Well, going to remind you, you want to go on vacation? Go to Arokon. It's a vacation, but at the same time, you get to remember, we get to learn more about God. Amen. So, see, uh, going back, no, going back, because Jesus already offered His life, to be the sacrifice for our sins, you and I no longer need to offer another sacrifice. Yes. Kung gibayanan na ni Jesus ang bayad para sa atong sala, dili na nato kinahanglan magbayad pa otro. Gets nato? Yes. If Jesus was already punished for our sins, and yes, he was punished. His body was broken. He was nailed on the cross. And as I said last Sunday, he did not die as an impotent God. He could have shouted and angels could have killed everybody. But the Lord Jesus stayed on the cross. He made the choice to stay on the cross because of you and I. So because the Lord Jesus died for our sins already, you and I now, again, we are acceptable in the eyes of the Lord. So, wala na'y kinahanglan na sacrifice. In, in, in law, we always say this, there is the law on double jeopardy. What is the law on double jeopardy? The same crime cannot be punished twice. Meaning, 
If Jesus was already punished for your sin, what is your sin? Nanguha ka kwarta sa imuhang papa nga wallet last week. Two years ago, you had a wrong relationship. Five years ago, you cheated on your exam. Ten years ago, you did a lot of... I don't know, na hold up ng tao. Uh, 25 years ago, okay. Uh, I don't know, nagbubog ka tao. I don't know, whatever. But the Bible says, no, the moment that we accept the Lord and ask for His forgiveness and transfer our faith on Him, Ephesians chapter 2, 8, 9, the Bible says that all our sins have been paid already. Now, if God already punished our sins, atong pagkachismosa, atong pagkalibakera, ang atong pagkatanan-tanan-tanan, punished in the body of Jesus, if the Lord will still punish you, then that is no good of our day. That cannot happen. The Lord punished Jesus for our sins once for all time. Therefore, now, you and I are free. Amen. A lot of people find it hard to accept. Really? I just have to accept the Lord and make Him my Lord and Savior and all my sins will be gone? Di ba ako bang galisun o dawan? Wala kay puhatun? Dapat na kay puhatun. You know what that is? That is pride. Chicken. What? It's pride. Why? Because as human beings, na anak ta, na mahimo lang ta, acceptable, lovable, if we do something to make us worthy of being lovable and acceptable. Hello? We are so used to that thinking that for me to be worthy of love, I have to be this, 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 this. That's why you look at social media. That's why you look at how we look at our bodies. That's why you look at how we look at, at the value that we give to ourselves. Because we have that concept para malove ko nimo, kinahanglan ing ani ko, para ma, ma forgive ko nimo, para di ko nimo biya ang kinahanglan ing ani, ing ani, ing ani ko. And we apply the same perspective to God. God will only forgive us if we are like this, like this, like this, like this, and that. But you know, that's not how God works. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9. For it is by grace. Can we flash that verse, please? For it is by grace that we have been saved. The Bible says, saved. Can you say saved? Saved. Past tense, saved. saved. It's not saved. It's saved. saved. For you, ano sa to? Okay. Wala pa. Nagkuan pa. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. For it is by grace that we have been saved. So, saved from what? Saved from hell. Kung ang saved, what does it mean? It means that when we die, we are not going to hell, but we will live with God forever. Who wants to live with God forever? Amen. Who wants to be sure? I will give you an option. You can be sure today that you're going to heaven when you die, or you can find out on the day that you die. You may find it funny, but religion tells you that you will not know where you will go until the time you die and somebody prays for you for nine days. And if nobody prays for you for nine days, where will you be? I remember Mam Sarah, she told me one time, the turning point of her faith was that statement. <coughs> she remembered that she asked a religious leader, nahutana siya sa isa ka religious leader, so where, where will you go when you die? And the religious leader answered, I don't know. Maybe I'll just find out when, when I'm already dead. I have to do a lot of good things. And Mom Sarah told me, at that point, I got to realize, how can we teach others about eternal life if siya mismo di siya sure asa siya padulong? I will give you a choice. Pwede ka masigurado karon 
where you're going when you die, or you can find out on the day that you die. What will you choose? Sigurista ko, I will choose that I will be assured today. And that is what you call the good news. There is a good news. The good news says that for God so loved the world, that whosoever, for God so loved the world, that He gave His one and only begotten Son, and that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, meaning will not go to hell, but will have everlasting life. I will give you the choice. You will be certain today where you're going to go when you die or you can choose at the time of your departure. And then you just wait for Monsai Mahitabu. Of course, if my faith does not teach me that there is a certainty of where I'm going, my faith is futile. If your faith does not give you an assurance of where you're going when you die, you will spend all your life being religious but not being in God. Because religion and being in God are two different things. That's why the doctor says, religiously drink your medicine. What does it mean? Iinom siya sa tama nga oras in the same, the frequency nga dapat. Because religion It's really about doing things again and again. Dapat ingani, dapat ingani, dapat ingani. Karo kung nasipiat ka. I will always repeat this. One pastor told me, going to McDonald's every day does not make you a hamburger. And going to church every day does not, literally, does not assure. And it does not make you a Christian. It does not make you saved. Because it's not in what we do. Because kung ang basihan is in what we do, I will fail. But we thank the Lord that the basis of our being with God is not dili tungod sa kung saan kung nabuhat, but Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, it says, it is by grace. Okay, lesson 1 review. It is by grace. What do we mean by grace? I, I work at the Court of Appeals. Every month, I receive a salary. I am required to, to finish four cases at least in a month. Only four cases only, diba? That's why I'm, ano, kila. I'm, I'm required to finish four cases in a month. If I finish my four cases in a month, I'll receive a salary. That is not grace. Why? I deserve my salary. Tama? I deserve my salary. Once they will not pay me, I can go to labor. And actually, I go to civil service because I work in the government. So I can demand. But grace is different. Grace is, I will sit here all day, 24 hours. I'll not do anything. But somebody comes and give me a one million check. And I don't deserve it. What did I do? And that's grace. Grace is getting something you do not deserve. Now let me ask you, do a flashback of your life. Do you deserve eternal life? I don't deserve eternal life. Do you deserve heaven? I don't deserve heaven. But then, even if we don't deserve it, the Bible says, God gives us salvation. Hello? Even if we don't deserve it. And that's what you call grace. And what do we need to do? For it is by grace that you have been saved. When you believe, what is the thing that we need to do only? Magpapato sa cross? Magsacrifice the Holy Week? Have a perfect attendance in church? Magpabaptize? No! The Bible says, God saved you by His grace when 
You believed. What did you believe? The belief here is believing that Jesus is your Savior. It's not just believing that God exists. Satan believed that God exists. It's not enough to believe in God. The demons believe in God. Dili enough na nagtuota sa ginoo nga naay ginoo. Pero kinahanglan, tuohan na ito onsay dibuhat sa ginoo. We have to believe in what the Lord has done. What did Jesus do? He died to pay for our sins. He sacrificed once and for all to pay for our sins. So that, so that when He already paid for our sins, I no longer have to pay for my sins. Kasabot mo? Because Jesus paid for my sins, I no longer have to pay for my sins. That is believing in what Jesus Christ has done. And the Bible says, you cannot take credit for this. So we cannot say, but I gave money to build houses for the poor. Most probably, I will have a house in heaven. God, nakita ba yan mo, naghatag ko kwarta sa pobre. God, nakita ba yan mo, ma-active ko sa church. I'm a worship leader. I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. What does the Bible say? You cannot take credit for salvation. You cannot tell God, Lord, I have been so good. I deserve a gift. God is not Santa Claus. So, like, every year, if you're a good girl, or a good boy, di ba? Included ka uh, sa lista. Kung bad boy, bad girl ka, included ka sa naughty list. Malo ba mo, Ana? Di ba? Basta itong kanta? O, oh, basta itong kanta. See, it says there, we cannot take credit for it. We cannot say, God, I am good, I am good, I am good, then I'm going to heaven. And then the Bible says, salvation is not a reward. For the good things we have done. A lot of people believe that if we are good in this world, we will go to heaven. Right? Di ba? Ina naman itong concept. Huwag ka na natin po. Gusto mamatay kasi ang dami ko pang mga kachorbahan. 